I'm Blair Ballard, the Bumpy Law. Uh, very nice to meet you. Um, we're just about to go and see Goldfinger here at the Prince Charles Cinema here in Stoff Leicester Square. Hang on, on this channel I'm doing the introductions. But thank you Blair, it was an honour having you and we'll hear more from him later. Because this video is going to take you into the heart of a very special James Bond anniversary. It is 60 years since Goldfinger premiered in 1964. This particular screening of Goldfinger was practically taken over by members of the British James Bond fan club. It's not bad for a 60 year old movie. I don't have to say No, I have to say because I actually have something to decide. So, yeah. That was, of course, Martin Beswick, who ironically was in From Russia with Love the film before Goldfinger, and Thunderball, the film right after, but not in the one that was celebrated here. She is such a national treasure, frankly. The more events we can have her at, the better. And as the screening finished, uh, and we congregated outside, I had an opportunity to share a few words with Norman Wonstall, the sound effects editor of Goldfinger, who is the first person ever to win an Academy Award, an Oscar, for a James Bond film and he was kind enough to bring it along so that was quite something i started a conversation with norman and only halfway through did it occur to me that i should put this on camera so he told me that out of the first five uh, connery bonds for which he did the sound effects from russia with love was his personal favorite and i then asked him how he came to work on the seventh bond that connery did never say never again almost 15 years later take it away norman Yes, and Sean apparently wasn't as happy as he had been on the original movies because so many of them worked together on, from film to film. So it was like a family. And suddenly coming back like he did with a whole new crew, apparently he didn't, he didn't feel happy about that. And right. My friend said, if only he knows about you, even though you don't, haven't met him, if you would come back, I think he'd just like to know that one of the old team was back on the scene. And, and when I, um, during the making of the film, he did actually come into my editing room and I think he wanted to have a chat and I would have liked to too, but somehow it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's the reason I Fantastic. worked on that. That was the sixth film. But, uh, I think the one I enjoyed most, uh, in many ways, was Russia with Love. I really enjoyed all the crowd, getting all these crowd people to make the... Uh, to, <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but we do That's, have to get yeah. to the party. Okay. So. <laughs> be more fitting than to have a party honoring Goldfinger featuring the famous Fort Knox heist than in a bank hall. So that's exactly where we are here. Yeah, both headwear and pose are film accurate. Will it be raffled off? No, actually, that's not a bad idea. I like raffling, yeah. Why not? And all about money will go to the music. Yeah. then came the moment I treasure most about that evening. The first and very likely only time in my life that I get to hold an Oscar. 
I've been close to Oscars before. I've seen Oscars uh, at exhibitions uh, and in museums. But he actually got to hold one courtesy of Norman Wonstall, who brought his golden boy along. How are you? See you again. I would like to thank my parents. Goldfinger is not the only James Bond film that celebrates an anniversary this year. The other one with a nice round anniversary is The Man with the Golden Gun. 50 years since the world premiere in 1974. And on a weekend in October, this is being commemorated with a package of events, one of which is completely free to attend. I'll let Philip Dewhurst, the president of the British James Bond fan club, tell you all about it. The interviewer is Blair Ballard, the Bond vivant, and the man in the middle, the head of James Bond tribute band, Q the Music, Warren Ringham. Take it away, Philip. Oh, well, we have a golden weekend, Blair. We have a golden weekend, and that's going to be something very special. Warren and I were back, back in October last year. We started to put the, the car, wheels in motion. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. For bringing Maud and Rick over for the 50th anniversary of Man with the Golden Gun. Maud Adams, sorry, she's my absolute favourite. Well, I mean, Octopussy. Yes. Uh, you, you name it. Even even her non-bond work is exemplary, and it's not like they live around the corner. You know, these people live in LA, so bringing them over is expensive, and it's not something that I could do on my own for the club, or that Warren could do on his own. So we thought, let's let's pool our resources. No, well, we let's, we almost struggled to do it together. You know, we yeah, have, it's we very have, expensive. We've had to really, really work on it for a good few months. We have, months. yeah. There were times where we were thinking, is it going to be? Maybe out? not going to. Yeah, yeah. So we're really, really chuffed to get it over the line. It's I'm, really exciting. I'm very excited for both of us for the entire Bond community because yeah. we have. I tell you, Blair, what we've got planned for that weekend is going to be exceptional. And the meat in the sandwich, we've got David Zaritsky with his Operation Goldlinger, so that if you can't get a ticket to mine, which sold out in 52 minutes, I know. And Warren's VIP sold out in the weekend as well. Yeah. You can obviously you can still attend the concert. Lots of tickets. tickets for that. Yeah, lots we'll of put the links down lots. below. Some, some, not lots. Some. I've been on we'll put the links in there in the, in the description below. So if you want to get tickets, you can. They can still, you know, uh, apply. But but they are going fast. So, so we, no. people are going to get to have a experience with Morgan Brett on the Saturday. Then Maud and Britt are going to retire to get their well-earned rest, ready for the concert the next day. And while they retire, we are going to host with David Zeritsky, or sorry, David Zeritsky is going to host Operation Goldlinger, where we're going to have so much fun. Everybody can just turn up at the Hippodrome, on the Lola Room. Um, don't get too much of a hangover there, because right the next day you are going to want to be there for the concert i mean so tell me about the concert then what's going to be what's hand over to warren for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. so yeah. The, the concert is it all is it going to be based around um man with the golden gun is that the the, the, the thrust well we've got three anniversaries this year we've got we've got obviously got goldfinger 60. yeah which whilst it's hard to find special guests i mean phil's managed tonight but there's not obviously that many of them around now, so we are going to market musically. 20 minutes of Goldfinger music in that way. And also the North of Enough 25, which oh, is yeah. part of the reason we Which has a very app, you know, with the Indigo, the old two. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. That's like a given. The so PTS. Music from there as well. And obviously the guests will be there. I think the great thing about this weekend is that we've kind of popped up together, the three of us, and actually made the whole weekend of integration where people have gone, you know, people come from a long way for these things. So they've got much more. That's it. See, it, it's, it's, it's when you're going to come over for. When you're going to come over from, say, the United States or from Thailand or from Germany or whatever, the fact that you can come over for the whole weekend and have a, a three-point multi-experience is nothing short of fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. David, Warren, and I, we, we, you know, we are doing this because we love Bond and because we love the people who love Bond. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So to build something that that just sort of blends in from one to the next to the next. It's exceptional. Yeah.
the stuff I was talking tonight has been absolutely fantastic, but you know, you've, you've done it. But it's so important to have that space for foreign fans to come in that way. And ultimately, someone's got to do it, someone's got to get off. If we don't do it, nobody else is doing it. No, so we're the ones that have the sleepless nights. <laughs> I enjoy it. I mean, see, I mean, obviously, I'm just here as, as I've a, enjoyed it from the moment I got here. Yeah. Now, Warren, can we briefly touch upon the awards because we kind of shared the awards. awards. You know, you yeah. won the award. No, no. The one, the one, the video one was funny. So, anyone watching didn't know Blair's video won the award for best documentary. We got a golden bullet. Yeah, for the best yeah. video for 2023, and then yeah. you I got can the show video. You where to put that? <laughs> It is, look, suppository, yeah. but vibratory yeah. as well, possibly. So I actually came up with the name Golden Bullet for Roland, because oh. I said, we need a better name, a snappier name than Bond Community Award. So I said, yeah. call it the Golden Bullet. And he was like, it's a, it's amazing. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. And it was well deserved for your video. It was, it was really cool. It was great fun. And we, were, we were both up for event of the year. Yeah. We were both up for man of the year. It's Neither of us won no. the man of the year. Yeah. Zaritsky, oh, he's a the tyrant, the tyrant. <laughs> he yeah. won that. Event of the year, you won it. I understand that. It was a big, big event, way in excess of what we did. It was great fun, though. It was well deserved. Anyway. I think every single event that was done last year yeah. really stepped up. We were we were sport for choice, really. Yeah. You, I mean, the, the Belfast event was incredible. Well, when we got to your event in October, I was simp that was the very first time I've ever seen you perform. And I same with me. And because I've always like, been away, and yeah. I was blown away. Yeah. And I looked Thank across you. my Vice President Miles, he was enjoying himself. I looked across at Simon, our, our operations you know, project manager, project director. He was enjoying it. I mean like I mean I'm talking like mm -mm. and I can see really 007, Tom. He's like, yes, yes. And he's looking over me from six feet away like <laughs> exactly. Yes, Everyone was buzzing. You put smiles on people's faces. Yeah. Thank and you. I got a kiss from Christina Wayborn. Well, well that's, that's very special. Very special. Very special. Nice very special. Crikey O'Reilly. Anyway, look. Thanks to Phil and Thank thanks you. to Warren. Thank you, Blair. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers. 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 Thanks, guys. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Now, I don't know when people are leaving. We have the vault till the wee small hours of the morning. Uh, so you don't have to leave at all. But I understand people might be leaving on trains or buses or in the cars or just simply because they don't like it. <laughs> um, uh, but we do have a version of a party bag for everybody. So if you do decide to leave early, and I will know who you are, um, don't forget to ask us to get a nice gold box that has some treats in for us. Okay. It's chocolate, Werther's Originals, and this is Gold Bar. <laughs> so you can eat them on the on the on the way home. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have you had the? If you enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you'll find out the next time i release a video until then cheers oh and despite what the quality of the commentary might suggest i'm drinking prop whiskey i.e.t so long